Hey, what's up guys? Sacred Sage here. And in this video, I am going to import all this clothing, one piece at a time, into Unreal Engine and apply it to a character. So, to give you a baseline of how this works, <clears throat> I already imported my character with nothing. No hair, no clothing, just the bare character and that's it. Then... I imported the top and some underwear to cover those areas and I applied them one at a time so this initially can be done with most clothing I say most because I tried it on a outfit and it has like a whole bunch of jewels and chains and stuff that was an utter disaster so it won't work on all clothing I'm sure there's some way you can restructure it to work but that's above my knowledge but for most clothing this is going to work <clears throat> so I already have all that over there so I'm going to show and do the final piece and walk you through on how to apply it to the character all right here we go so where you at Bloop. there it goes okay so this loincloth is the last piece that needs to be applied so what we do is we select it very simple file send to unreal and then I am just going to name this s y and I will just say um, underscore oops, loincloth just like that <clears throat> okay so a few things to note you want it to be skelet, uh, skeletal mesh because it's going to take the shape of the character, right? So this makes it so you don't got to do as much work. When we do the morphs, it is recommended to keep the same morphs of the character when importing it. I've not tried it without it. I just did as this person told me and it works great. So morphs enabled. Show FBX dialog all this stays the same I hit accept make sure you have this selected not the model too I, I don't know if I mentioned that but you want the item that you're trying to export to be selected and not the model okay so all these stay the same selected figures props morphs merge all that same basic stuff and then we hit accept now it's gonna go and do its thing it does all kinds of weird little motions and and whatnot when you export <clears throat> And then this is going to get shot over to the Unreal. Now, there's a little bit of blueprint work depending on what you want to do. Now, if you're trying to make it to where it is a usable piece, let's say like this piece of clothing gives stats or whatnot, it's not going to work for what I'm about to show you. But if you're just trying to get the character dressed or it's a character that you have in your, your scene or whatnot that uh, is animated, it'll work just fine. Also, if you want it to be on the playable character in just that in just that clothing, that'll work okay too. It's just a matter of switching them out that this will not work. Uh, I have not gotten that far into the Unreal Engine yet. Eventually I will, but not quite yet. Okay, so it is now importing all this stuff. It's gonna come up with some soothing or smoothing errors and, and whatnot, but it'll be fine. Hopefully we don't get no skeletal mesh kind of stuff because then that means it won't work. All right, so there we go. It is now over here. Okay, so no soothing group, uh, smoothing group. That's fine. Okay, so we just clear this out. That means it will work. So here is the character uh, blueprint that we got, right? And then that's the top and the underwear. And then the playable, I got the same exact thing. All right. So let's X out of this. First thing I'm going to do is I like to keep an organization. So I have a folder with all my DAS stuff because when you import the DAS, as you might know, it all gets thrown DAS to Unreal. So I got these like DAS characters, DAS clothing, DAS hair. You don't have to do this. It's just my personal preference so that I can keep things organized. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab this and throw it into DAS clothing. Move here, accept. Okay, cool beans. It's done. So let's go ahead and work on this character, right? So I got the blueprint right here. Bam. And this is the setup that I have. Okay. So 
if you're doing this for the first time, all you will have is this. That is it, right? So what you're going to have to add a component layer, which you may or may not have. If you don't have it, go ahead and add the, the component. You can do it, I believe, through here. I forget because I didn't have one when I first did this and I had to add this component thing manually, but I had a different menu up here too. Anyways, once you got the component thing set up, all you do is add the mesh. So you will add first the mesh of the character that you will be using. Make sure it's already retargeted and good to go and whatnot. And you will add the mesh of whatever you are trying to to apply to that right so so you can get a better look at this setup over here so all I did was I took this and I dragged it down here just like this right same exact one and then I dragged out like this and typed in set master pose component Bam. Now you don't want it on target. You want this one on this one. So let's go ahead and alt and click and we'll get rid of that and we'll put it in the right one. Then you take the top like this or whatever piece you're trying to add, however many you have and you throw it in the target, right? That's what I did. I got this one. I got the top, the underwear and the hair all plugged into this target. And that is what I did. So, oops, let's go back over here. I got to make a skeletal mesh. So let's go ahead and add a mesh. And here it is, skeletal mesh. Bam, cool. And we are going to name this SY. Um, what did I name it, actually? That is a good question. Where are you at? Clothing? Loincloth. Okay, so we want to name this SY. Loincloth. Bam. Keep things organized. Alright, so now we're literally going to drag this here and plug this in. We're not done yet though. So we want to take this loincloth, have it selected up here in the components, content drawer, and then we will bloop, 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 bloop. where you at? Loincloth. Select. Okay, cool. And then we're going to drag this in the skeletal mesh just like so. Bam. Then we're going to compile. I'm not sure why that thing is doing that. And then we're going to save. And this should change this character. Perfect. Now, if it doesn't connect to the character just right, like it shows right here, I'm about to show you why because it doesn't happen when I do the blueprint. All right, so let's go back into the third person. We're gonna open up the blueprint, right? So this is the same exact thing. It's in the, const uh, the construction script, by the way. I forgot to mention that. So when you go into your blue uh, blueprint, here is the construction script. So this one, this blueprint is just for the third person, so I didn't create this blueprint. So we're going to add a component, skeletal mesh, just like before, S, Y, loincloth, just like before. Then I am going to go in here and apply it to the skeletal mesh. It's basically a copy carbon of what I just did. And then we are going to apply this. Let's compile and save. Now this ain't going to work but I'll show you why in a minute. So let's go ahead and X out and then let's play. It is on top of my head. As you can tell. All right. So it's an actual, actually a real easy, easy fix. So let's go back into the blueprint, open up the loincloth head girl. And then when you have the top or hair or uh, hair mesh, all these are going to be the same as the model. So my model here the location, I got negative 89, rotation 270, and then scale is 1. That's just, it's just what it is, right? 
So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the loincloth, just like that. And then we're going to do negative 89 and 270. And now we're going to save it, exit out, play, bam, it works. Now, I haven't done no physics or anything like that. I, that's still on the learning thing for me to do. But I have uncovered at least how to get over each individual piece of clothing that you can attach to the model. I did the same exact thing to the hair as well. Um, something to note. When you are, if you're trying to make a character like what you see right there, you got to make a blueprint. Some of you guys might not know how to make an actual blueprint. So... What you do is right over here in in whatever folder you want. Let's see, I got mine right here in Daz Model Blueprint, right? We can right click, Blueprint Class, click on Actor, name it whatever you want, right? And then you open it up, and that is where you have it. Bam, just like this. Here's a construction script right here, and that's a, it'd be the same exact setup that we just did on the other blueprint right so pretty simple pretty easy um, I hope I hope this uh, helped you guys out and if you did go ahead and hit that like button subscribe uh, comment all that helps and all that supports the channel and I appreciate you guys watching anyways take care and I'll see you guys next time bye bye